sermon about uh, the Apostle Thomas, uh, I decided to basically try and find out if anything was written by this Apostle. Um, I asked ministers, I asked uh, clergy, I asked um, leaders of the churches that I have been associating with, and every single one of them, to a person, said, you don't want to know that. That's irrelevant, that's not part of the Bible, um, it's a side issue. It's, it's not something you need to know about. I don't like it when somebody tells me I'm not supposed to know something when God's telling me this is exactly what I'm supposed to look for. Uh, when they stonewalled me, I decided that uh, I needed to try and find out myself. But I didn't know what it was called. I didn't know if there was something written by the Apostle Thomas. So I asked God. And this was after I had done a little bit on my own and had run up against a brick wall. Uh, basically, there is a, uh, a bookstore in the town. It's called Half Price Books. And I had bought books there before uh, that they're uh, discounted, uh, no longer in print, etc. Anyway, it's a good source of uh, reading material when you don't have a lot of money. So I was very surprised when God basically told me, go to Half Price Books and I'll give you the books that you need. So I thought, okay, I can do that. So I went to Half Price Books. And since I had no idea what I was looking for, I just figured it wasn't going to be traditional, whatever it was. I went to the religious area, which I generally don't visit because um, I like talking directly to people instead of reading about stuff like that. Uh, and God told me to close my eyes and pick out two books. He also then told me, don't look through them, just take them to the stand and buy them. If I've told you to pick them out, they're the ones you need. So I did. I picked out two books at random, and uh, I bought them. Uh, I brought them home and I leafed through, and I found out uh, some of the stuff I had already known, but I found out that there was something called the Gospel of Thomas. Uh, it was written uh, by the Apostle Thomas. Uh, the followers of the Apostle Thomas, uh, but from the oral tradition that the Apostle Thomas had started. This was very interesting to me. It uh, also explained in these two books uh, how the contentious aspects between John and Thomas had developed. Uh, they were in rivaling uh, churches in the same communities. Uh, so there was sort of a one-upmanship going on. Uh, they were trying to disprove each other. The initial Gospels were not as um, antagonistic as the ones afterwards. Uh, there were several mentions of, uh, I think, three things that were credited to the tradition of Thomas. Uh, but the way that I was looking at it was I needed the original the one that was written first, the one that was not redacted a hundred times to meet the political needs of this one-upmanship that was going on between the churches. Once I knew that there was a name for it, I looked through these books and found small samples of verses. And they were very interesting because these verses sounded familiar to me. And I realized that they were the sort of things that I had heard most of my life in sayings and uh, quotes, but uh, they weren't mentioned as being verses. Uh, so I, I thought that this was probably good, that it was uh, conforming to some of the things I had been taught as a child. So after that, I uh, tried to figure out uh, where I could find it. It didn't say that it was written in English. Um, and neither of these books had a total uh, copy of all the verses. 
so I couldn't read them. And uh, it analyzed some of the verses, and they didn't sound quite right to me, but uh, it looked like they were at least giving it a good effort. Uh, from then on, I basically racked my brain trying to figure out where to find it. Uh, I looked in several libraries and either I was looking in the wrong place or uh, something was keeping me from finding it. I sat down and I started um, just meditating for a little while and I thought, you know, that was a University of St. Thomas where I used to live. Now I knew St. Thomas and the Apostle Thomas weren't the same. But I thought, but maybe they know, you know, with the name being all the same and all. So I thought I would go. But then I had a dream, and it was a warning. And the warning basically said, you need to bring help. You need to bring someone who is going to support you. And I thought, okay, that's strange, but I'll do it. So I found a friend of mine, and he was, he was someone of the Trinitarian uh, tradition, but he also was drawn to the idea of dreams and visions. And as a result, he said, hmm, sounds interesting. I'll go with you. So we went to the library at the University of St. Thomas, and I got in there, and I thought, okay, let's do a search on their little, you know, uh, they have computers now for uh, the Dewey Decimal System, so you, you can't, you don't have cards anymore. And the computers all shut down. And I thought, hmm, okay, that's not good. So I decided, okay, if something is trying to keep me from finding this document, then I need to uh, re rethink this thing. I'm going to go and talk to a librarian. It's a lot harder to shut them down. So I went, and sure enough, the librarian said, uh, oh, of course, there is a Gospel of Thomas, uh, and we have many copies, and they're in English. But they're all on back stock, and they're being cleaned. You won't be able to find any on the shelf right now. And I said, well, I don't know. I have a really strong feeling that I'm going to find it. Just give me the number of the stack. So she gave me the number, and I went back there, and I did exactly the same thing as God had given me when uh, he told me that there was something called the Gospel of Thomas. I reached out, and I closed my eyes, and I picked out two books. Well, we brought them over to this table and opened them up. Both of them had the Gospel of Thomas in it, and I thought, it's a miracle. So these are all on backstock, huh? Yeah, yeah. So then I thought, okay, let's let's go make copies. Because I, you know, I have to bring this home and study it. Obviously, I need to know about it. Well, we got into the copy machines and they wouldn't work for me either. Well, Brian, bless his heart, made copies for me. When we got to the librarian's desk again, I blessed her and I said that she had just done some really good work for God and that it was appreciated. And I thanked her and walked out with the copies. As soon as we were outside the door, Brian said, I do not know what has just happened here, but something is working here and these were meant for you. You need to go home and you need to read them and figure out what it is that's in them that is so important. And I said, oh yes, that's exactly what I have to do. So I went directly home and I started up the computer. When I started